Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and a comedy music fan, and this week I am reacting to Minecraft vs. Lego, the rap battle by Dan Bull featuring the Stupendium and Epic Rap Battles of History, otherwise known as ERB. Uh, I've reviewed and reacted to ERB a bunch of times on this channel. Uh, I haven't really done anything by Dan Bull, although I have seen a, a bunch of his work. Uh, not everything he does is comedy, which is one of the reasons why I usually don't react to his stuff here on this channel. Uh, I'm not familiar with the Stupendium. I'm, I'm familiar with the name of the artist, but I'm not familiar with their work. So this will be a first time for them. Uh, obviously, ERB I've done. I said that. Uh, I've seen Dan Bull do stuff with ERB before, too. So this is going to be a little different. Obviously, this is really right in my wheelhouse. It's nerdcore hip-hop. It's songs about video games and pop culture and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm ready for this. Are you? I don't know why I got all weird owl on you there in my voice, but, you know, it happens. Uh, and please pardon my dollar store Seth Rogen look, but, uh, you know, haven't gotten a haircut in months. The beard is getting all Grizzly Adams up in here. Anyway, let's watch a video. Dan's logo. The Lego version of the Stupendium logo. Again, it's some of you are recognizing me. Dan's going for Minecraft. <laughs> I will say, Dan's flow is always really solid. He has some uh, really great bars always off the top. Uh, everything I've seen him do has always been quality. He's been at this for a good while too, so he's been in the game for a while. He knows what the hell he's doing, and uh, this always goes to show that his 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 uh, jabs aren't too super hard because it is a kids game uh, but uh, you know what it's it's still being some quality stuff here I, I'm still enjoying uh, what I'm seeing and that's it. Check my spots, <laughs> I'm it on YouTube. I can fell a furnace with my fist. What can you do? I'll build an obsidian tomb and lock you up in there. Mind you, I could do that with some couple. Not fair to square wraps against this cube. No joints are still articulate better than you. I'm a classic. I'm a guy who starts to boot. Because the man of all are wearing is the three piece suit. <laughs> no moving parts and I still articulate better than you. That was really good. That was really good. His flow is matching Dan's, which is good. Uh, the thing about the three-piece suit, I mean, see, there's already some lines in here that I'm already liking more than Dan's. So that's some points there. Not saying that Dan had bad lines, but nothing that really overly struck me as, as a great line. Although he, he had some decent lines, nothing that really stood out to me as like a real good punch. But these that uh, the Lego man is doing, I'm really enjoying. Not really too much feedback as far as comedy delivery uh, on this one because it's set up like the ERB uh, rap battles. You know, you've got telling jokes as jabs in a comedy rap battle. You're getting what you're expecting. And I'm expecting, you know, decent bars and, and some okay jokes. Again, kitty centric because it's Legos and Minecraft. Uh, so it has a, a all-ages audience, so I'm not expecting any F-bombs to be dropped, although ERB hasn't shown up yet. But they can play clean. They played clean when Weird Al was on it. They can do it. I believe in them. Whoa. 
that's a real good line. The child labor trapped in the mines. That's a real good line. That's that's quality. I I will give them that. The thing that made me go whoa was his face melting. It wasn't really the bar itself. It was just the effect on his his head melting. But it you know it looked good. This is obviously very much a green screen battle. So you know they're they're kind of reacting to the nothingness and having it all put in post. But uh, it's still cool. Uh, there's not really as much interaction between the two of them like there would be in an ERB battle, but also probably because Dan's in the UK and I have no idea where the stupendium is. I don't know if he's where he's based from, so I don't know if they were in the same room when they were filming. Uh, I know Dan flew to America to film for ERB. I don't know what the situation with this was, so we're not getting as nearly like as close shots as we would in another rap battle by another series. Sorry to make the comparison. Sorry to, to compare, but when you're including them in the song, I'm going to compare. It's just the way it is. But still, solid bars from both of them. Re really good, really good so far. And yes, I'm going to keep pausing because I don't want to talk over the important parts of the song. That's why I keep stopping. This is a reaction video. I'm going to react and I'm not going to cover up the song with the reaction. That's my spirit. That's true. I mean, a lot of the fun of the LEGO is building it yourself, but Minecraft, there are no maps for anything that you build. Everything is imagination-based, and a lot of people are creating a lot of really amazing things in such a, as the LEGO guy said, low-res low situation. <laughs> the team-up of LEGO and Minecraft, as far as toys go, is like, the biggest no-brainer in marketing ever and they finally did it but it's you know it's exactly what you would expect it to be lego blocks that make minecraft i'm tripping over my own tongue a lot i'm sorry saying lego rocks <laughs> whatever it's a new tongue just had it replaced we're moving on Nice. The take off your trousers without dissembling, that's true. I always used to say uh, Lego figures always amazed me because you could cut their head off and they'd still be smiling. I was a sick child. Rumble me, you'll need more than a horse. Cause you're tangling with a toy box, toy to force. I may be a plaything, but I break the mold. Every day, 300,000 to me get sold. And I'm over, what did you hope to contend? Cause we're over, not yeah, you're trends at an end. Ooh. I was waiting for a dig at Notch in this, because uh, uh, the creator of Minecraft is, we'll say, troublesome. Problematic. I do want to say uh, one of the nice nods that maybe a lot of people won't notice is that each of them rapping, their lyrics are in the font of their product. The Minecrafts is uh, his his lines are in the Minecraft font, and the Lego Man's is in the Lego font. I really appreciate that. It's a small thing, not super noticeable, but it's a nice touch. I dig it. <laughs> that is true. As also problematic as PewDiePie is, yeah, that's, he played Minecraft a lot and then everybody played Minecraft a lot. Minecraft and Fortnite. YouTube. I totally don't have a Fortnite song coming. 
Anyway. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but they aren't intimidated when they're all your own. When they get a brick, so that one's a brick of rag bed. I pack your bits and fill your zip while I'm building me a throne. You got two rappers with the battle six side and boxes in the ring, take a swing with the prize. And apparently, imperative, we get a kiss side. And which brick, brick gets kids excited? Listen up. Just about enough of this. It's something from There's a like... riff and rubble and a couple bricks. Meet the product of all that you've accomplished. I'm the new stud in this construction triumvirate. And out of date Java game cobbled together in a pathetic little relic that's desperate for relevance. He came in as what I said when Minecraft and Lego teamed up. It's amazing. And this is where, where uh, ERB is coming in. Nice Peter's on the hook, and the combination of the two is Epic Lloyd. This is awesome. This is a great song. And look, they're in the same shot together. That's a thing that happened on the screen. I'm enjoying the song. There's not a lot to say in it other than laughing at it because I'm enjoying the song. There's not a lot of reaction critique I can give, just reaction. The best of both your elements, expensive as a melagin. Play time paradigm, I just left you with some sediment. Hey, it's Dan. Nice. Thanks for watching. And extra thanks to Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd from Epic Rap Battles of History for joining us on that track. Head over to the Stupendium's channel for the alternate ending. Also, the Stupendium has drawn this, which you can now get on a limited edition t-shirt and poster. Click the link and get it before anyone else. Now. Now! Okay. So that's pretty great. Uh, he said the Stupendium has an alternate an alternate ending. We're gonna do a time break here. So they've just flipped the logos for the Stupendium version. The it's thumbnail's the different. See what else they've changed. Okay, it starts out the same, it's the end of this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead. Uh, yeah, there we go. We've skipped ahead to the ending of the song to see what's different. I do like the hook. It's a good hook. Which brick click gets kids excited? Come on, guys, what's the sense in mind of squabbling when you could try to represent all kinds of modeling? Oh, it's the happier one. Oh, they're the things that we could build together is mind boggling. I'm the proof of what we can achieve. Creative, creator, what's with all the beef? Look up to my dear, there's no need to grieve. Dig down in your hearts, find the parts to believe. That's way more cheerful. Thanks for watching. And a massive thanks to my amazing patrons for making this video possible. Huge shout out to Dan Bull, Nice Peter, and Epic Lloyd for featuring on this track. I wrote the original version of this battle years before this channel even existed. And I'm so amazingly grateful nice. to everyone involved for helping bring it to life. Make sure you check out Dan's channel for the alternate ending to this battle. And be sure to let us know who you think won in the comments. And check the merch store for the limited edition Battle of the Builders shirt and poster. Oh, and uh, like, subscribe, and ring the and all the merchandising and the Patreon and the things. So, uh, also judging from that, I'm guessing the Stupendium is over in the UK. <laughs> Something, again, I wasn't familiar with, but uh, good to hear uh, his non-rapping voice, his speaking voice, uh, and uh, hear the accent and figure that out now. But yeah, okay, so they have two different endings. Dan Bowles is a little bit more confrontational, and uh, the one on the Stupendium chapter is channel, not chapter, and the one on this Pendium's channel is a lot more uplifting and uh, in in the spirit of unity. It's very good. Uh, both versions are very good. Uh, both battlers are really great. As far as a winner, as much as I am a fan of Dan Bull, I kind of feel like I have to give it to the Stupendium on that one. Both of his verses seemed a lot better constructed to me. No pun intended, I swear. Uh, but that said, uh, I will say that uh, 
you know, I, I, I enjoyed his bars a lot more. Uh, and that may be because I don't have a super huge familiarity with Minecraft versus Lego, but uh, I do appreciate that there were two different endings. I do appreciate that they did bring in the synergy of Lego and Minecraft in the toy, and that would be the ERB verse. I do like the way they integrated both Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd without having to have two separate other characters for it. So uh, it was really cool. It was a really good rap battle. A really good uh, pop culture video game and toy rap battle. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's good stuff. If you enjoyed this video or you want to check out the original videos, the links to those are in the description. Please let me know that you liked this by giving it a like, maybe sharing, subscribing, checking out my Patreon, which helps me make some of my own songs, more of these videos, tons of other stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Get a 30-hit combo. Achievement unlocked. Learn to play the banjo. Achievement unlocked. Defeated hundreds of guys. Achievement unlocked. Uh, but not in real life. Achievement unlocked. Now that helps a little, but not super widely. And to say this year sucks is putting it mildly. And for some folks, events are taking their toll. So for them, maybe let's have some easier...